but don't take too much offset numbers because if your parts are too loose, you basically don't have any good options to fix it. Uh, next part will be this bushing, which you can attach on the shaft, and it has some nice features on it. And again, we will take it to slicer and we you will we will use a couple of features in the slicer for put uh, metal nuts, screw nuts inside this part, and then we will print on top of them. So they will be inbuilt in our design. And again, I will show where here. Here is the shaft, which will attach to the round road. And here is the nut slot. And this is the place for set screw. So I'll go to the beginning of the design. And as almost all of my designs, I started with changing parameters, which I know. And try to set it as a rule. If you know any dimensions of your model, use it as a parameter. It gives you much more control. If something changes later, you can just go and change one parameter and all model will be changing according to it instead of uh, going back to the timeline and look where where you design this part so i created a few parameters here it's three different diameters height of the model and offset number and i chose 0 0.15 millimeters so i started by creating a very simple sketch of just two circles i extruded them both to a cylinder then i chose only one circle the small one and i made a cut to half of the height of the whole model then i created a tangent plane to the cylinder through construct create tangent plane and you choose a cylinder and it creates a tangent plane i created a sketch on this plane and it is fairly simple it has a rectangle and a circle on it so rectangle will represent the nut slot and circle will be the hole for the set screw and in here basically you can go two ways you can already uh, put your offset number in here on this sketch or you can add it later on i decided to go later on and probably it wasn't the optimal way i will show a little bit later why here this one is designed for m4 set, set screw so it's four millimeters in diameter circle and I think it's about seven, seven by seven point seven rectangle. Yeah. You always can check the dimension by clicking I or inspect uh, function. You can change the length, uh, check the length, angle or uh, perimeter of your model design. So after that, I used extrude function uh, to create a hole. And here, where the fun part starts. I started from profile plane, from this tangent plane, where my sketch is. And I used not the uh, distance, but I used to, to the object. Like if I choose distance and specify the distance here, let's say it will be 30 or minus 32 yeah it, it goes through the model uh, but if i change those dimensions later this one will stay the same and if i choose to the object in here and i specify the object so the inner cylinder it will cut the only to the object and if i make any changes later 
for example, I can go to my parameters and I want to change this diameter here, for example, for five. This hole will still be there. Or if I go higher, 25. It won't break and it will be there and it will do the job right. If I put specific distance in here on this step, for example, minus 42 meters. And if I would change any parameters, Let's see, five millimeters, one millimeter. Okay, I need a little bit lower, minus 20. Oh, sorry. If I go here a little bit lower, the outer diameter was 50, so minus 12. Doesn't matter, but it doesn't cut through. And if you change parameter, uh, this diameter now for 30, you can see that now how it's there. And if you go lower, for example, 15 it disappears so this feature when you extrude to object it's really nice to use in your design it allows you to use parameters and make changes later on with much much easier so next Um, I want to uh, be this nut slot. I want it to be exactly in the middle of this cylinder right here. So I created another tangent plane and between them, I created a mid plane, this one. So it doesn't matter if I change any parameters, it will still be in the middle of between those two. And it is very handy when I was going to make this slot because in here I can select my profile, this rectangle here. I can start from the profile from the object and as starting object I can define this mid plane I created so it doesn't matter how I change the design later on uh, this slot will be in the middle of this cylinder here so I chose symmetric so it basically cuts two sides from this plane and I don't need to do any calculations in my head uh, so I can just type, uh, this is basically M4 nut height uh, divided by two, since I'm cutting both sides. And just click OK, and voila, you created a slot right here. And then using circular part and feature, I created three of those. So I just selected those extrude features I did before. And as axis, I selected this cylinder here. It basically works perfectly as an axis. And just press OK. So actually, I'm using analysis a lot. And 
this one goes under inspect uh, section analysis and you uh, define phase which you will uh, use as a cutting plane and then it creates you nice section cut like that and it's really nice to use when you need to do some designing there's many inner parts so after that i'll hide all the sketches i created a sketch with text on it uh, to do that just create text uh, and type any text you want you create a text field type text in the text box you can select uh, font you can select height of your text and alignment and press ok working with text later on is really hard so if your text is finished you just right click on it and use explode text function so it basically creates a sketch elements out of your text and now you can interact them with them as uh, profiles you can extrude them you can uh, cut with them you can do whatever you want so after that you can click finish sketch and you can now operate is this text and next thing i did i wrapped this text around this cylinder here and to make it i used a uh, emboss function i selected all the uh, letters by just clicking on it on them holding shift and uh, as a face i wanted to project it i chose the cylinder face right here and the text is now just wrapped around it and actually in here i can change the selection okay uh, supposed to be able to add some of them but probably not it's too late <laughs> too late but anyway you can either uh, pull it from the surface or you can press it in there like that so they will be just cut in your object and in here you can adjust uh, horizontal and vertical distance you can just move it right left uh, up and down and uh, rotate it a little bit so after that i just created a simple sketch on top uh, where i just uh, created a polygon inscribe polygon for a nut slot and i extruded it here i made a hole down to the bottom of this uh, part this one and here i chose cut through all so it will cut to anything which uh, which is below this one this surface so uh, this one is very nice if you know that there won't be any other planes you don't want to cut in on the path of this one and of course i could use to the object and select as object this bottom plane thank you it will be the same result and then i cut it a slot with the uh, hexagon here for the nut uh, and here the thing is 
I started from an offset plane and offset is minus 10 millimeters from this uh, surface. And again, it's about the height of the nut and operation is cut. Then I add the chamfer and next thing is I didn't put any offset to the parts I modeled internally. So if I want to put a nut in there of the nut. So I want to put an offset there and it's actually often you need to somehow interact with hidden faces. So you go to the view visual style shaded with hidden edges and to select any of them you left click on them and hold it and after that you can from this drop list select face you want to select and again to select multiple you just hold shift and click on them again Again, left click, hold, and select. I actually drop the shift. And then if you actually selected multiple faces, and this process can be tedious because you can let the shift go or something like that. You can now right click on it and create selection set and it will appear here in selection sex sets so you can click here and click select and those faces will be selected you don't need to go through that anymore this one is really nice to use if you do some fine adjustments on your design and you it, like it saves tons of time where you just before just were clicking faces trying to select and one click ruins everything those selection sets is actually gold and now i can apply offset face to all of them and i can just put offset and voila and i can go back to visual style shaded I did the same to all internal faces. So I made those holes for set screws larger, uh, nuts, uh, slots for nuts larger. And then there is one more feature I wanted to show you. It's basically how you project uh, some geometry on a sketch. Uh, you i created um offset plane from here so i clicked on this face on the face i created offset plane i specified the number here and then in here i can show this sorry construction so select this plane make it visible I created a sketch on it and in here you click create, project, include, intersect and you just select the body you want to intersect with this plane and it creates this purple line in here. This means this, this is geometry is projected and here is one box which called projection link and if you unmark it this line won't change if you will change the body later and if you if it's still marked this projection projected geometry will change if i change parameters so um in here if i change parameters and i'll change my main diameter here to 40 It needs to do a lot of calculations, but yeah, you can see this geometry change it with it. 
I can just finish sketch. And actually, we can construct a plane at angle, and we can use, uh, let's say, this line. Okay, like that, and we can construct also the plane to this one. And if we do the same on this plane, uh, include intersect. So you can see that there is intersection going across with this plane. And this one is on your sketch, so you can hide the body and work with this intersection, intersection here. I will hide on this uh, sketches and print the body back. Um, I have finished sketch. And this one. So after that, using this sketch, I created this project line. Uh, I created a another construction plane, which is very helpful. It's called plane along the path, this one. To create it, you need to select the path. I will project the geometry and it will create a plane uh, perpendicular to the path at the point. So I can select some distance along the path and just click OK. So I have this plane and it is perpendicular to the path. And I can place a sketch on it. So I did. And I created just a circle uh, on the path. So it looks like that. And then there is another very nice function. It's called sweep, where you need to create, set a profile and path and the path was actually this one and the path was this project geometry from intersect so like that i made a groove all around the cylinder without any complex uh, sketching it's really easy and it's really handy if you need to put an o-ring on your design or something like that so here I just simply click OK. Oh, I actually chose a different type of uh, sweep here. First one was cut like that, and second one was join. So it created this groove here. Any feature you can delete, but if you delete some crucial feature, uh, which for example would be creating this body, it will ruin uh, most of your timeline. And and you probably need to start over or just undo the deleting this part. And this part we can make and bring to our slicer. And here is a really neat feature to insert something on your 3D printed design to be where you won't have any access later. So I can go to the bottom and here you can see that those slots start to appear. Okay. And we go higher, higher. Until there is a first layer of material on top of them. So it will be this layer. And here we can add a pose point and I can put a short note, which will appear on a 3D printed display. Press OK. And at this point, 3D printer will stop and wait for you to put nuts inside those slots. And then press continue and it will continue printing. So then we can go higher up to the second nut slot in here. And we do the same. 
the add a pause here it's the same message so in here there will be time for you to put an ad in there and it will be uh, completely hidden in your design and you will have the advantage of metal part inside your plastic 3d printed part and this feature i personally like to use a lot uh, it doesn't work with uh, all the printers but if you can use Prusa slicer with your printer uh, this feature works perfectly so and after that the design just printed so this was the second part and there is another one sorry one we... one comment i guess that in this case you should have all when you design the piece uh, i mean the the note you need to consider the tolerance right because it might be that it doesn't fit in the yeah yeah in uh, the piece um actually maybe i jumped too fast through that but here i actually add added offset to all of those uh places and okay. in that case it's better to add a little bit more because you basically can't do anything if it doesn't fit and if it's a little bit loose nothing bad will happen really so yeah 